Okay, for part 3 and how to solve a 5x5 Rubik's Cube, we're going to deal with edge pairing parity, and then after that, it's just solving like a normal 3x3. So, let's do it. Um, there's a lot of cases you can have for the last two, and I'm not going to go over them all, because basically, it's intuitive. You just got to learn on your own. I'll go over some. Now, a common one is this, what I have right here. This one is can be really easy, and if you have one like this, you can avoid parity. And how you solve it, you just do the algorithm I've showed you many times. You know, we have two here, and this one doesn't match, and then these two match, and this one doesn't. Basically, what you do is the algorithm I've showed you so many times. It is D star, R, F, I, U, R, I. F D star. And that'll solve your um edges. So you won't deal with parity for this case, but hold on a second. There's another well there's a couple cases you deal with parity. Let me just get them. Okay. Now, if you come up with something like this for the last edge, you have the other edge solved, but you cannot get this edge solved. This is the parity that I'm talking about. Now, for the parity, what you gotta do is this very long and al this very long and boring algorithm. It took me forever to learn, but you're gonna have to learn it if you want to do this without watching the video. So I recommend you learning it. You you hold it like this, and then you do this algorithm. 2R star, 2B, 2U, L, L star, 2U, R star, 2U, well the other one was RI, but this is 2U, R star, 2U, 2F, R star, 2F, LI star, 2B, and 2R. And that'll basically solve it. Now this one uh, wasn't solved because I was trying to get it set up right and I couldn't. So I'll just do the algorithm real quick so you can see that it actually will solve it. Very long and boring algorithm. And that solved it. Now, I'm pretty sure that's all the cases. I probably forgot a couple. But... I know this is really hard to understand, but I'm trying my best. So I'm going to continue on. Now what you want to do is just solve it like a normal 3x3. So now it's just a piece of cake to solve, you know. I use Friedrich, so I'm just going to get my cross. Okay. Oh, I don't have it yet. Right, this is what the cross would look like without that thing there. And now I'm going to do F12 because that's Friedrich method. Now, if you watched all these series of videos, I would be surprised if anyone has watched them all. Because this is probably the most boringest and hardest thing, because it's just not explained very good to watch in your life. But, you have kudos to you. I know who says kudos to you anymore. No one. But I said it. So, yeah. Okay, you gotta do two of cola. PLL. And it is solved. Now, I'm sure you probably have a million questions, so if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment box below, and I'll try to answer them. I might even redo this that it's so bad, but I cannot make that promise. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Good luck in trying to solve it.